Hi, my name is Drew Wiesman. I'm here with your Monday, June 29th Keeping Connected video. I don't know about you, but uh, this past week has been exhausting. Watching the numbers uh, rise in our state with more COVID-19 cases, seeing the tensions in our political environment, the ongoing uh, conversations about race and inequality and justice are all exhausting. And it's hard to try to stay up with it. It's hard to try to understand. It's just hard. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about the importance of taking care of yourself in the midst of this season. I noticed a couple of days ago that I was just getting really drained. I was getting short with my family. I was getting frustrated more easily than I normally do. And it bothered me. And so I was trying to think through what is different about this now. And I realized, you know what? I'd gotten behind on my daily scripture reading. I had not been getting as much rest as I needed to be doing. I wasn't taking care of myself. And then in the, one of the classes that I'm teaching on Bishop Carter's book, on scriptural imagination, he mentioned being undernourished and how we need to be nourished by the patterns of worship need to be nourished by engaging with our spirituality. And I realized that those times when I was angry, when I was frustrated, I think I actually might have been hangry. Do you know that phrase, hangry, when you're just so hungry that you get irritable? I don't know about you, but I get that way about uh, three times a day before I get a meal. And I think I was spiritually hangry in those situations. I needed the nourishment, and I hadn't been getting it. So friends, we are in a long haul. Things won't get easy ever, really. Life can be difficult, but we need the nourishment of a regular pattern of feeding our own discipleship. We need to be engaged in worship, not just watching it on a screen once a week, but really engaging in that worship in the best ways we can do it now. We need to gather in socially distant, safe ways with friends and loved ones, and we need to be engaging in our own spiritual life. Today, in summer in the scriptures, we started the Gospel of Mark. So it's a great time to just open your Bible each morning and read through the Gospels with us. It's a great time to join in one of, one of our new classes that we're offering. It's a great time to start a new one, to invite others who you feel safe with on Sunday to have a home church and just be able to enjoy that fellowship. There's so much that we can't do in this season that often it's easy for us to forget the things that we can. So I encourage you to take a walk outside. It's beautiful, even if it's hot, but engage in the beauty that God has given us. Engage in the ways that God is calling you to do. Reach out, take care of yourself, because the good news is still that God is with us. The good news is always that grace is sufficient each and every day, but it's on us to be fed and nourished by it. So how are you doing today? How are you really doing? And what are ways that we can pray for one another and support you and make sure that we are all being well-fed and well-nourished to keep our spirits and our souls good for one another? God bless you.